I am a huge Asana fan. It is my favorite project management system and what I use to run my entire business and life. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you my favorite features of the moment in 2021. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise. Here on this channel, I talk all about building an online business. So if that is something you are doing, definitely hit subscribe down below. These are simple features that just make working in Asana so much easier and more fun. So the first one is the ability to multi-select. So this allows you to select multiple tasks and edit them all at the same time. So all you have to do for this is click on the top task that you want to include. Then you're gonna hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then select the final one that you want to include. As you can see, that has selected all of them. And then you'll see this bar appear at the bottom. So if you click on this icon here, this is going to allow you to add all of these tasks to another project. So all I would need to do is click add to project. So let's say I also want to add this to executive tasks. I can do that. And then I can select the section that I want to add these tasks to as well. This is something I do a lot because often I need to see how the different tasks across different projects are going to interact and overlap with one another. You then have other options down here, such as deleting all of these tasks, or if you click on the three dots here, you'll see even more options. One thing I did want to note though, is you can just edit simply up here. So for example, if I wanted to assign all of these tasks quickly, to me, I can just go ahead, click on one of them after I've multi-selected, assign it to myself, and it's done in one go. Same with tags. Let's say I want to add a tag here. I just do it to one. As long as they are all selected, which you can tell because they are blue right now, this is going to work. So I'm going to tag these as important. And there you go. The second one is such a great addition, and this is for showing your team members that you appreciate them when they have completed a task. So for example, my amazing graphic designer, Anno, was working on some new pins for ads that we're creating. So if you scroll down here, you'll see that this is all the information about what I needed. And then down here is where we go back and forth and we discuss the designs. So this is really great because you can keep all of your communication related to this specific task right here within Asana. But anyway, so I really appreciate all the work that she's been doing and the beautiful designs that she created. So I can come down here, click on this little icon right here, and this is going to bring up the appreciations tab. And then all I need to do is click on one of those and Anno is gonna receive this and it's gonna say that I have showed my appreciation. These little creatures and icons just add so much joy to your day and allow you to show your team just how much you do appreciate all their hard work. This next feature is one of the biggest reasons that I recommend Asana and saves me a ridiculous amount of time. And that is templating everything. And this includes your task or workflows as well as entire projects. So for any task in your business that has multiple steps to it that you need to remember, you can actually create a template for that. This way, whenever you go to do that task, you can use this as a template and then you have an easy to follow checklist that you can just check off as you go. This makes it way easier to complete the tasks and to ensure that the tasks are being completed correctly. So for example, as you can see here under our marketing calendar, we have templates and files. And one of the templates is if we're doing a JV webinar for my program up level with Asana. So we can just click on that task here. And then this is going to open up with a detailed checklist of exactly what we need to do in order to complete this task. By setting these up, you're going to be able to save yourself a lot of mental energy. So the best part about this is that you can do this not just for tasks, but actually for entire big projects in your business as well. So for example, we're in the middle of a launch right now for my online course up level with Asana. There are a lot of moving pieces to a big project like this. Well, we've actually templated the entire thing. So if I click on show more projects, you'll see template for up level with Asana launch and for my other courses as well. So every time we need to launch again, which has a bajillion moving pieces, <laughs> 
every time we need to launch again, all we need to do is come over here, make a copy of this template, change the dates, and we're good to go. This saves us hours upon hours and hours of time. The next one is the Gmail to Asana integration, which makes it fast and easy for you to turn emails into Asana tasks. So for example, I have this email here and because I have the Gmail to Asana integration set up, then you'll see this little Asana logo right here on the right side. So once I open up my email, all I need to do is come over here, click on the Asana logo, and this is going to open up a side panel where I can easily create a new task from this email. So I'm going to click create new task. It will automatically say follow up on and then include the email subject line. It's assigning it to me. I can come in here, set a due date where I'm going to actually deal with this email. <laughs> if anyone else has difficulty dealing with their inbox, comment below. Then I can add any more details that I need, add it to a specific project, and then you can decide if you would like the attachments to copy over and if you want to add the email to the task, which I would definitely do. Okay, so I'm going to click create task. So now when I go into Asana, we can see that task right here. We'll see any details that we've added. We'll see that the attachments have actually copied over right here to the task. And if you scroll down, you'll see the email right there. How great is that? This next feature I wanted to mention is a particular view which I end up using all the time. So I'm going to use this task here. It's the team meeting. And as you can see, we have four subtasks connected to this team meeting. So in general, whenever you want to view those different subtasks, you need to click on the task and then you'll see the subtasks below it. But if you want to see the information attached to that subtask, you have to click here and then view that information. So that can be quite annoying to have to click in there each time that you want to view that information. So in this example, let's say I'm you know, working through my team meeting notes and I wanna refer back to them quickly and easily. So how do you do this? Rather than clicking here, if you instead go into your list view, okay? Then you click on this little arrow next to the task name. If you click on that, you'll see the subtasks then drop down below it. And so then to quickly and easily see all those notes, all I have to do is click on that task here and it opens up right in this view. Then on my keyboard, I just use the down arrow and I easily go in between all the different subtasks. I honestly use this view all the time it makes going through and viewing your subtasks so much faster and easier. So I hope you are as pumped about this one as I am. And finally, the last one is that you can link to other tasks from within a task. So let's say that under task two, I wanted to link to this very important task down here. All you need to do is go into the description area type in the at symbol. And as you can see, you can actually tag a teammate or link to a task, project, or message, okay? So in this example, I'm going to link to that task. So I'm going to type in very, and once I do, it's going to come up with a drop down with that task right here. All I need to do is click on it. And that is now a clickable link inside this description. So I can just go ahead, click that, and it's going to open up that very important task instead. So this is very handy, tagging both team members and linking to tasks directly. And that's something I find myself doing a lot in Asana. So those are my favorite Asana features of the moment. I hope that you found this interesting. Asana is always making improvements to their platform. So I'll actually leave a link down below where they post all of their updates so you can keep on top of any new exciting features. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Now I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Asana feature of the moment is, or if you are brand new, make sure that you grab my Asana roadmap in the comments down below. This is gonna help you get started and set up your account from scratch. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video.